assalamu alaikum today we will learn how to get gene sequence from ncbi or ensemble website of any gene of any animal okay first of all we need to know which sequence we are looking for well that should be a specific phenotype okay or that should be any disease which we are looking for with the mutation causing that gene makes the disease cause okay let's see. first of all we know uh, we need to know uh, what are we looking for well that is, this is my assignment okay uh, it's on a horse uh, hypoxia that the oxygen consumption mechanism in horses well equus cabulus is the name of uh, is the scientific name of horse and uh, i'm looking for the hypoxia tolerant gene okay so uh, sometimes we didn't know about the gene name and that's okay uh, well my uh, gene c gene name was hig d1b so let's start how to get sequence form ncbi or ensemble first we need to go to the ncbi website okay here we need to select the gene that we need to find the gene we are looking for and here i will uh, type horse hypoxia that's it but preferably we will uh, we should use the scientific name of horse but that's okay so here are the genes uh, that uh, people have select uh, collected and submitted to the ncba website well i'm looking for that gene it's on chromosome 11 so it gives a wide data but we are looking for sequence so here is the ncbi and here is the our gene that uh, hypoxia include the main family member 1b aqueous calculus horse that's a horse gene so how to find sequence well scroll down you will find that there is a graphics first strand gene bank we need sequence so we need whole sequence in which the introns and exons are both present and here is the whole sequence look it gives a wide detail the whole gene which affects the hypoxia in the horse so this is the gene sequence that's how we get uh, sequence from NCBI but there is a confusion that uh, we need to uh, know uh, we don't know uh, which are exons and which are introns so for that we use it now come on uh, ensemble which gives more wide detail about the sequences we need to know so let's go to that part okay it's opening and select horse and uh, I will use the highlighted word hypoxia here. Well, I uh, I know that uh, which sequence, which gene I am looking for. Uh, that is hypoxia. Sorry. And I will select the genes. There are 137 genes data online. And there are a lot of genes in the horse which affect the hypoxia, but I'm looking for the specific gene that is that. 
and in that bar you will look the sequence that sequence I, I click that and and here we go it gives the wide uh, highlighted regions are showing exons and other are introns this is how we get that which parts are exons, exonic or which are intronic we can download the sequence from here okay it's quite easy to uh, download well why we need to uh, separate the exons and introns because uh, we need to design primers in the exonic parts only okay so here is my assignment I downloaded the sequence and uh, I prepared that channel for the primer designing I will show how to design primer in the next video ok so why we need the exonic parts because uh, the primers should be in the region of exons ok because introns could be related so that's it thank you for watching